it took me a long time to sort of settle in. It looks beautiful and it's amazing, but there wasn't that much to do in Calgary. Um, and people were, were way too nice for like the London lifestyle. I, like they would say hello and yeah, in the street, and I'm were like, so friendly. And at what first do you we were like. Yeah, Everyone really. And we used to talk about it. I was like, did, yeah. they, did the guy at the coffee shop talk to you? She's like, yeah, it's yeah, good to me. Yeah. Like, what is going and on? They're just it? genuinely so. But once you kind of let your me. like London guard down, you become part of it, and you're saying yeah. hello to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and by the end, we didn't want to leave at the no. end. It was that we got really comfortable in Calgary. Yeah. It's a lot I think we can learn a lot from the Calgarians. Yeah. Yeah. But did you bring the friendliness back to London, or did the moment you stepped off no, no, the plane, no. no. immediately? Don't talk to anyone. Get back on the tube. tube. Don't, don't look. look anyone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it does happen. We saw them. We met them. The English coppers walking around the street over there, with like flat jackets and guns and stuff, wandering around with Yorkshire accents, and they'd had enough of it over here. And they moved out, and I suppose that is a thing. It's a common thing, and then. And you lot, can see yeah. why. Like yeah. it's beautiful out there. Yeah. It's extraordinary landscape, and it's, yeah. it's it's wonderful. And he's looking for a quiet life because he's, mm. I guess, running away from his drinking. You know. People are going to probably be a bit surprised how funny it is. Um, again, was that was that part of the the, the show that really appealed? The fact that it, it took comedic risks mm. yeah. it has some very black humour yeah. yeah yeah completely I think reading the first episode Tim and a lot of his improvisation and his ad-libbing he's really funny and it comes across on screen so yeah I think a lot of the humour is down to Tim's kind of freedom and um, an instinct yeah, yeah I think so how, how much did he mess about with you both <laughs> during filming? When you're trying to film scenes, did he, did, did he take you down some very strange paths when he starts out, when he started out living? A little bit. He's such, he's incredible. Like, he's such an instinctive actor. And I think, again, like going back to the family, we had to kind of get to know each other really quickly so that you, so the audience get to see this strong family unit who they care about. So we did a lot of improvisation, me and Tim, and it was, it was funny, it was great. He kept me on my toes, it was brilliant. People are going to probably be a bit surprised how funny it is. Um, again, was that, was that part of the, the, the show that really appealed? The fact that it, it took comedic risks. Mm, it yeah. has some very black humour. Yeah, 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 completely. I think reading the first episode, that was definitely part of it. But also Tim and a lot of his improvisation and his ad-libbing, he's really funny and it comes across on screen. So, yeah. yeah. I think that was, it's a really important part of it, I think. Yeah, I think a lot of the humour is down to Tim's kind of freedom and... Um, An instinct, yeah, yeah. I think so. We were given um, a licence to improvise, and we, which we did do a lot of. And Rowan was great in that first lasted, episode, yeah. because we, that was really us all, because we shot it in sequence, yeah. that was us all getting to know each other, yeah. like really just learning For about real, each other yeah. as people, as yeah. actors, as... And, yeah. and they gave us that space, and we really found some great stuff early on. I think it would have been a completely different show if the, if the actors hadn't connected, because it's a long haul. Six months is a long haul. You can force it, but you can tell that it's forced. I've, be, I've been in that situation, and I know when, it, when, it, when there's the chemistry between actors, is not, it's not buzzing. And it was with us. We had to figure out stuff on our, on our feet as, as we were moving on. And, and, uh, and because because it's about family in whatever in whatever way, but because because that became the central character, the family became the central character, and, and that well, to us to us yeah, and it, and it had to but you know so you're protecting that or tearing it apart and putting it back together again as we go. And so we were making stuff up as we were going as well. We were, the, yeah. I mean, Rome was writing. You know, was dropping the scripts on us sometimes really quite late because he was still like mucking about with it, you know, and we, then we would change it all up and play. Yeah. If it was just a cop, a cop show type situation, I wouldn't have been there. I, I wouldn't have been interested. I was, I liked, I, I wasn't, especially by the end of episode one, and then it, it kept clicking into different gears during it and, and our relationship and all of that stuff. So it, it, it was fun to play. It wasn't boring. I, it, I, I wasn't standing around doing cop acting, which um, I'm not interested in doing. Do you think you would cope out there? Do you feel no. Like no, I get out of my mind as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm living in London, dude. Yeah, which was, I, I think, a, a, a part of the character of it is you take these London, all these people from city, and you just plonk them in with the bears, you know, in the, in the middle of nowhere.